So in the last blog, we said goodbye to our friends, Craig and Jamie. We also had to make a decision about whether we were going to go to Sicily or not. It wasn't a good idea to try and get across to Sicily. It would have been a two, three day voyage and we weren't sure about our engine, the windlass and various other things. So it was a good decision to stay um, where we were safe, with the storms passing through, where we could sort out the things on our boat. We were about to leave to go to Lefkas, but um, this massive tank came in. Um, our anchor is probably underneath it somewhere because we laid it out really nice and far to be secure. So we decided we're gonna wait, we have to wait and we're just identifying the flags on top and the day shape and we're listening out for sounds to see if there's any sound signals as it turns to starboard or if it goes engines in the stern or any of those things. So the big ship has got to dock and um, the little Greek fishing boat has come along to grab his stern line. So they threw the line over to him and he got his boat hook out grabbed that line and now I think the Greek fisherman is going to take that line to shore. So we finally left um, back to Lefkas, we had to pick up some parts and um, so to get to Lefkas we went through the canal which we're becoming um, quite familiar with now. When we arrived in Lefkas, as we were mooring up stern two on the town quay, we were dropping our anchor and the whole windlass just kind of fell apart. In Europe, when you moor up, it's mainly bows two or stern two, and so you have to put your anchor out to hold the boat out away from the quay. So once the anchor dropped, we were really concerned about how it'd be possible to tighten the anchor up if the windlass, which is the winch that pulls up the chain, if that was completely mangled, how we would do that. We saw some examples of boats that obviously had been crashing against the quay, their anchor must have dragged, and they'd been rubbing against the quay and we could see like massive gaping holes in the stern of their boat. We didn't want that to happen to our boat. So luckily, you know, when you come into a marina, most of them have lazy lines. So the lazy line would be attached to either chains, which I think is the case in Lefkas Marina, or it will be attached to a massive block of concrete. So we booked ourselves into Lefkas Marina for the winter and it really was just in the nick of time because the weather it already started to turn but it just deteriorated after that and big storms started coming in. The storm that came straight after we arrived at Marina was the first of many storms really.
So we realised that you know we needed to stay in Lefkas Marina for the winter. We were going to be kind of stuck here. Um, the flights will stop to Provesa. This is a six-hour journey to Athens. Um, so yeah, you're quite kind of isolated here. The decision to stay in Lefkas Marina was also a little bit daunting because we didn't really know what we were going to do here for six months. We realised there was a community in Lefkas Marina. Um, we found the room, it looked like there was lots of things going on. The first thing that you know really introduced us to other people was um, a dock party. Everyone who's living aboard comes to this party. You bring a dish and you get to meet all the people that are going to be living in this marina for the winter. Fantastic group of people. So we decided that we were going to get involved with everything going. So one of the groups was a knitting group um, that met in the cafe in the marina. It's the only cafe that stays open, um, everything else closes down. So it's really quite cosy. You go in there, everyone gets a nice cup of tea and um, we, we learn how to knit. I mean, it's something I would never imagine doing, me knitting, but I have learned how to knit. Rowan, my daughter, is much better than me, but I was just, it was great. It's a new skill, something that might come in handy. I'm still working my way through a piece of knitting that I started at the beginning of the winter, but that's one of the groups. Do you mind if I get you knitting? Someone told me about all the other things that's going on in Lefkas. One of the things was horse riding, so I decided to find out where the horse riding was. We just cycled miles to go and meet Janet in the house. What is it? Lovely lemon. 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 Mm. These sticks are prepared for next year and flattened to hit the olives off the trees. The way that Janet teaches horse riding is a real gentle method. I thought it was something really easy to get on off you go, but I've realised there's so much more to it. Okay. Something. And we make a The other thing that we joined was a group on Sunday. So a couple of people that live aboard, they plan these routes, these walking routes around the island. The kids absolutely love it and we love it because you get to meet everybody else every Sunday. It's, it's active and you get to see some really beautiful places around Lefkas. So the only thing that we found quite difficult was the fact that we were the only family living this life. So nobody else who was homeschooling, um, with their kids and that was really difficult. So when we discovered that a boat had arrived and it was Clive and Nick with their two kids, we were so overjoyed when we realised that they had decided they were going to stay for the winter. Christmas even tomorrow is Christmas! <laughs> so we were wondering um, how much they celebrated Christmas here. Obviously it's, everything's bustling um, back in England before Christmas. So this is the Friday before Christmas and we found this square, which is really lovely. It's got a really nice Christmas tree, um, but it's pretty quiet, not much going on. So I don't know where everyone is. I kind of thought it'd be nice to go and sit in there, but um, there's no one else around. So it's kind of strange, no one's here. and even Father Christmas turned up, which the kids were really excited about. So then New Year's, they opened up the cafe, especially for all the liveaboards.
That was the end of 2017. It was really an amazing year for us. Like, a lot of our dreams came true. <laughs> So after Christmas, they um, celebrate the Epiphany here. Greek Orthodox Church um, celebrated it. It's quite a big thing. So we went down because we really wanted to see how they celebrated it. So we're here in Lefkas for the Epiphany and everybody is selling oranges everywhere. started gathering on the bridge because they want to see the cross when it's thrown in the water. Okay, so we've got the Coast Guard and yachts out and all the little oppies and several more yachts coming out. They all have these oranges and they dip them in the water. It represents the Holy Trinity. Everyone gathers around the water, they throw a cross into the water. People have to jump in and try and get it. Um, people start chucking oranges in. Um, it was, it was quite entertaining really. Another group that we joined was the guitar group and it is brilliant. On Thursdays there's a man that comes down from the mountains and he teaches guitar. It's free so we've been going for an hour on Thursdays learning some new techniques and um, something to practice in the weekday. You like that? We made the most of being in this one place for six months, but we really, really, we want to travel again. Um, we knew we had to spend this time to get things ready, but we're excited about going off, dropping the lines and being free again. Our guitar teacher said that this was the worst winter in 10 years. He said there's never had so much rain. You should be free. You should be playing a TikTok. We didn't expect to be in one place in the winter with such terrible weather. You know, we thought we kind of got away from that. But um, but that is wintering. Wintering um, means you've got to find somewhere a safe haven somewhere. There's quite a few times I wondered what we were doing and whether we should have stayed in England and sent the kids to school. Then we made the most of it and we met loads of good people. So we've still got a few months to go and um, we've still got quite a few jobs that we need to do on the boats. We have got into a good routine for staying fit and healthy and we've also got into a good boat schooling routine as well. The next few blogs are going to be about some of the other amazing places we've discovered on Lefkas Island. We're at Ronnie's Waterfalls! How we actually managed to get off the island and explore the mainland a bit. So we're right at the top of the mountain now. This seems to be a track. Okay. <laughs> I am going sailing around the world.
So thank you for watching these videos. If you like them, then please keep subscribing on the YouTube channel, uh, like us on Facebook and share with everybody. And also if you want to, please do help support the creation, editing and um, producing of the videos. You can support us on Patreon um, to keep making these videos. Thank you.